Welcome back to Try This DIY. My name is Alan. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys why you're getting this little parking brake symbol on your dash. This is a picture of it right here. Uh, maybe you've gotten this while you're sitting still or maybe you've been riding down the road. Uh, there's a simple fix for it. So I wanna show you guys what that might be. So let's dive in. All right, guys, for our first fix, you need to make sure that your parking brake is not on. Mine is right here. Again, you have to push it down to set it. Then you also have to push it down to uh, release it. Uh, and then also yours could be right around here somewhere. Um, I can show you a picture of that as well. If you have kids like mine, sometimes I get in my truck and accidentally kick this or bump this. So that could be a fix and that could be why you're getting that indicator. So try that first and then I'll show you uh, your next fix. So the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and pop your hood and find where your brake fluid is. You can check your manual or anything like that. This is what my container looks like. Um, also, when you open up the top, one of the big things you wanna make sure you do is notice what it says and what type of uh, brake fluid you need. Um, this one says make sure you use only DOT3 fluid, so you wanna check that on yours. But one of the things and one of the reasons why um, that light could be coming up is your brake fluid is low. And there's like a little indicator in here um, that indicates when your brake fluid is low. I've already added some to mine, so mine is good and pretty full. I might add just a little bit more. But when this gets low right here, your brake fluid light or your parking light will come on and that means that it's telling you you need some more brake fluid. So what you can do is just add some more. Uh, again, just it's pretty easy. You just make sure you get whatever your vehicle is calling for and then add a little bit just to kind of make it up to the line. Again, you want to just, you don't want to overfill, but right there, filled mine up to the max line. And then you can put this back on there and you can always check it, let it run for a little while, and then it might turn off. And again, this uh, again has a little float in it, so make sure you fill it up to the max and that could be the reason your light is on. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful for you and it was able to fix your problem. If it was one of those two problems, let me know in the comments, or if you have any other recommendations, let me know that in the comments as well. If this continues, I do wanna recommend you guys go get your vehicle checked out by a mechanic. That means something is wrong with your brakes and you want to get that fixed, but hopefully this was able to just be a temporary fix so you can get it checked out as well. Um, if this video was helpful, let me know that. You can leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. Love to help you out with that as well. But check out one of these other videos, and I will see you in the next video.